Hello, I am Mia, and I have never done Inktober before. A lot of artists do Inktober every year. I know some artists who have done Inktober since it began, and I have never jumped into the whole Inktober fest kind of because I just thought of myself as somebody who is inconsistent and who doesn't really finish challenges. I have tried different art challenges before, but there aren't a lot that I've actually finished. So in preparation, I really, really, really want to do Inktober this year just because I'm already graduated. I don't have that much school uh, and lessons, and m maybe this is the perfect time to start this challenge. So in preparation, I have this notebook. It's actually a watercolor mixed media sketchbook that I got. Don't ask me where I got it because I found it at the local craft store. It has a canvas cover so you can design this whole cover thing. And maybe I can do that as a part of the last day of Inktober. Kind of getting tired of this cover photo and maybe I'll just paint this all in acrylic and use this as my canvas for the last Inktober sketch. Now this notebook I've had for several years already. The thing about me is I don't really finish sketchbooks as you can see. I've had this since 2012, 2013 I think, 2013. And I've never really finished this, so this is why I'm going to do Inktober so that I can finally be done and over with this sketchbook. During the month of September, I've been sketching here and there with inks. And that is for me, and this is when I started um, trying to get some ink illustrations down to get me in the mood of Inktober. These are just some daily sketches. As you can see, there are some drawings that I've included here. That's from really long ago. So yes, this is going to be the notebook that I'm going to be using for the whole of Inktober. As you can see, I still have loads of pages to fill up. So that will be enough. And this video is mainly about what items I'm going to be using through the month of October. So I have this really old Kipling pencil case that I'm going to be filling out with the inks or the items that I've been using while I was drawing those ink drawings that you saw recently. I'm going to be putting them in here so I wouldn't have to kind of look f around and waste time for uh, doing these illustrations. Because uh, time was my biggest enemy and the reason as to why I did not do the challenge sooner. So this is a Kipling um, pencil case that I found. I was about to tr throw this out, actually. First thing that I'm going to be using is some India ink. And this one I have peeled the cover of, but I'm pretty sure it's India ink. I've had this for a really long time, and I don't really think it's really good, to be honest. I kind of, Which is why I'm using it for Inktober is that's because I want to get rid of it. I want to finish it all up. I don't know what brand this was, but as you can see, it's got like a little orange tag here. So, yes, I just found it at an art store. They recommended it for me, so it's going in there. If I run out of this ink, I'm going to be using Statler, Marsmatic, Paper, um, Refillable Ink. 
I still have a little bit of that, but this is just for that just in case moment when I don't have any more ink. Next, I have my Pentel brush pen. I love this brush. Now, the thing about me is I don't buy the refillables because I find them expensive. So I usually fill the ink up myself. The next thing I have is the Pentel Aquash brush pen, Aquash pen, and this has a water and ink mixture in here. So that's how I get my shadows and my gradients and all of that. So I'm going to be using this heavily during the month of Inktober. For really thick lines, I have this Uniball uh, Air in black. This Uniball Air gives me a very wide line, which is why I'm going to be using it during Inktober. I have here a Pilot Pencil, mechanical pencil. This is going something that I'm going to be using for my sketches. Very basic, very simple. Pilot Super Grip 0.5, if anyone is wondering. I have just a kneaded eraser. Um, I find that kneaded erasers work best uh, or work better than normal erasers, which is why I always opt for this. To go with my ink uh, bottle, I have two fountain pens or f dip pens that I recently got. This is just a fountain pen or a dip pen that I got from a local craft store. If anybody can tell what kind of tip this is, leave it down below because it will help others to probably find the tip if they really want it. So that's that. I'm going to take this off. The tip says it's from Hero Leonard number 41 in England. So that's that. And this is also something that I got recently. This is BIC 1770 from France. It's a drawing dip pen. It's got this fine tip and it's actually very very fine. So you store it like this inside your pencil case. To add a touch of color to my um, inks, if I feel like adding some color, I got the, these um, diamond pens from Wish. Uh, I just got them from the mail, so maybe I'll use them during Inktober. The tips look like this. Like I said in the beginning, I fill up my Pentel brush pen with some ink and how I do that is I take an art syringe, it's very, it's not that sharp at all. I take some ink and I squirt that in the cartridge. The cartridge has this little hole where I can inject some ink in there and I just keep reusing the cartridge again and again. But I still do have the original Pentel inks in my arsenal, I just don't use it all that much. So I'm going to be using this syringe as well during Inktober. So basically that is all that I'm going to be using for Inktober. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you luck if ever you are going to be doing Inktober with me. You can always follow my Inktober challenge on Instagram that is at fxxylxy again that is at fxxylxy thank you so much for watching this video if you liked the content or if you liked the video please give me a like 
subscribe down below and leave me a comment. Are you going to be doing Inktober this year or not? If you are, leave me your handle or leave me a place where I can follow you so we can try to motivate each other during October. And if not, what are your reasons as to why you're not doing Inktober this month? I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!